I don't think you should allow the energy sector and your analysis of the en energy sector to get cluttered with thinking on who's right or wrong on a political thing. And an alliance will not work out out of seven seats ke ek mil rahe. That's not the basis for an alliance. And I don't see any of them giving the other party three. Which means the BJP will win all seven. I don't think that impacts it. It's a belated recognition of where India already is. India is already the third largest consumer in the world. India is where the energy story is really, you know, thriving. People, the, you were asking me about the big names. I may, I should have mentioned uh, Exxon, Chevron, Petrobras, Petronet, uh, BP. They're all wanting to come to India. Why? Because this is where the growth is. This is where the growth in demand is. Sectors I work, there's no room for philanthropy and altruism. You do solid investment because you want to make money out of it. So that is the spirit in which India, US will also proceed. Our situation as of February 2022 was that the Russian Federation accounted for 0.2% of our total imports. Today, I don't think you should allow the energy sector and your analysis of the en energy sector to get cluttered with thinking on who's right or wrong on a political thing. So suddenly after January or February of 2022, our imports from Russia shot up, then the others caught on saying that uh, you the economical this thing, then we had the Iraqis going up for a while. We have no option as a democratically elected government to ensuring availability, affordability and sustainability. We have done reasonably well on all three. We are the only country in the world, earlier I used to say Japan, but today I saw, yesterday I saw a statistic that Japan quarter on quarter has, um, uh, is technically in a recession now. So I say, we, I can say now with confidence, India is the only country in the world where over a two year reference period prices have actually come down. I am repeatedly asked how worried about you are in Red Sea, I said I am anxious. Because anywhere, uh, if a non-state actor starts taking uh, pot shots at uh, merchant shipping, uh, let alone uh, tankers, I mean, you know, it goes up in flames. I'm anxious but not worried, and my uh, reassurance or my confidence stems from the fact that I am convinced. I may be wrong, totally wrong, that I don't think any of the major state players involved in that part of the world or involved anywhere in the world today wants an outright uh, outbreak of uh, hostilities. I don't think the major powers, the P5 wanted, I don't think the regional powers wanted. That is what gives me reasonable confidence that anxiety factor is there because you know we've had to use our uh, uh, assets to um, deal with uh, what appears to be piracy and on the etc. They are giving them one seat. You, you call that an alliance. Things can change. No, no, you are calling that an alliance. No, I don't know. Frankly, no, no, I really don't know. I have a reasonable, reasonably good working knowledge of the Aam Army Party and the Congress. And again, I choose my words very carefully. I know Mr. Kejriwal very well. I know the Congress leadership. We have grown up with some of, some of these guys from my university days. It's not happening in Punjab and I would say I'd be surprised if it happens in Delhi because the deal on offer is not something which you could call as responding to the requirements of self-respect of the other party. Look even on the Indy Alliance, India Alliance or what we used to call the Ghamandia Alliance, I used to say all along instead of wasting time on biscuits and coffee in different places 
in the country the test will come if you can immediately engage in seat sharing that never came i have always said that once a parliament session is over and we got a number of it can you know i don't know what when it's going to come once the notification comes so what is the internal dynamic in each party i know for a fact that those who are what i call potential or aspiring candidates they must all be lining up in the so that the window for a alliance and an alliance will not work out out of seven seats ke ek mil rahi hai that's not the basis for an alliance and i don't see any of them giving the other party three which means the bjp will win all seven somebody said and i think that's a figure we've been using all along that in the next 20 years 25% of the increase in demand is going to come from india is a bp's figure yeah so i i also picked it up that's all right so obviously people are very interested in what's happening here if you are in the energy business even if you are such weather you are situated in uh, houston texas which is in a way the energy capital or you are in sao paulo brasilia or in uh, in malaysia petronas they are interested in india you got to take some existential big decisions we got 254 million metric tons per annum i had a discussion said why do you want to increase your metro, uh, your refining capacity i said i seem to believe we already got another 50 million metric tons per annum in the pipeline but i seem to believe that the new world which we are seeing take shape we'll have three or four refining hubs in the world I had written a book. Uh, my second book was it was called Delusional Politics. I had predicted Trump's uh, victory the first time around. Look, on India there is a bipartisan uh, consensus in the United States, and I should also like to say there is also a bipartisan consensus on the United States in India also. No one today will come and say that oh, CIA ka agent hai, oh, US ka hai, and nobody gives a damn. Fact of the matter is, you have a vibrant. Indian community in the U.S. kind of exchanges you have with the U.S. in the area of technology, pure sciences. It's a very different game. So I think both countries there is a bipartisan consensus. No matter what the results of the U.S. election, I think the India-U.S. story is going to go on a steady pace. I don't get excited by the hype that comes sometimes, you know, because I've been around too long. when i see that hype always is the one, one thing that gives you a, a my friend amreen's this thing one nightmare because you, you over exaggerated are are here go are aisa nahi hota hai everything if they are doing business in india that is because they want to do business in india and uh, they are not nobody is doing anybody a favor and by the way at least in the sectors i work there's no room for philanthropy and altruism you do solid investment because you want to make money out of it so that is the spirit in which india us will also proceed